Hey everybody, this is a quick video showing about how leverage can be used with a shorter one-handed weapon against a longsword. This is inspired in part by a Reddit comment that was made that insinuated, among other things, that a two-handed weapon would always have leverage advantage against a one-handed weapon, which is demonstrably untrue, as you can see in the first part of this video. The second part of the video is just some sparring. Me and a sparring partner just went through and traded Longsword and Messer, and both of us were essentially trying to either evade the Messer or to use the Messer to gain a leverage advantage. And you can see that even the Longsworder, even though they often have the better of the match, uh, are forced to do weird things to avoid basically getting trapped by the Messer. There are a couple of really clean examples of the Messer taking a leverage advantage and very, very quickly turning it into a good cut to either the arm or the head. So all I really wanted to do, especially in the first part here, is just demonstrate that you can attain a leverage advantage trivially with a one-handed weapon, as long as you know where the strong and the weak of the sword are and how to angle your weapon against a longer weapon in order to get that leverage advantage. Again, this is just one advantage. Uh, length is certainly an advantage uh, in other ways. Speed with two-handed weapon against a one-handed weapon is also an advantage. It, but mostly, these are problems that can be overcome with shrewd fencing that pays attention to the advantages of the weapon that you have and the advantages and disadvantages of the weapon that your opponent has. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Enjoy the video and leave a comment if you like. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. 